Welcome back. So the next thing I kind of want to test right here is that when I click that button that I'm going to be navigated to another page and we're going to use that again using the location that we built last lesson. So again just to kind of give a quick recap we made this small routing test to kind of set up routes and I set up a dummy route right here and I expect that when I've clicked my add button inside my HTML right here using the router link it'll redirect me to that route. So that pretty much means that I expect that I'm going to be at this route after a click on that plus button. Let's try and see how we test that. So if I go down here, this was the test that we did last lesson, just testing that right now before we do the click, we're actually at the route that says slash nothing, right? And then what we need to do is figure out how we can test that when we do the click, we actually switch to another route. And how we do it? Well, it's very simple. What I'm actually doing right here is I'm saying, first of all, I'm making another it right here that says I should be at the add route when I click the button. And then I'm putting in the assertion and I'm putting in the actual test right here, like we've done so many times now. The first thing I'm doing is I'm getting the location because I need that location to kind of test a route. So that's the first thing I'm doing right here. The second thing I'm getting the button, right? The button we have used so many times for testing earlier right here. We use that button to kind of get all buttons on the page. And then I'm getting the first button because I know now that's the add button, right? Why do I do that? Well, I know that because I made the test up here, right? So I've already made a test that the first button is the add button. Amazing. So now I know that when I have that button right here, I have the native button pretty much meaning that this is the add button. And when I do a click on that button, then I want to reroute. So when I do that click, I expect that now I'm not at this route anymore. Now I'm actually at this route. But how do we make Angular, our test, to understand that we did a click? Well, we have to ask the, the actual fixture to detect the changes. And that pretty much means it needs to re-render what we're doing, right? So it needs to go to a new route, it needs to render the page again, it needs to change form data, whatever I did, whatever changes I made, we are kind of explaining the system, we want to make those changes. And then what I'm doing here is I'm saying when the changes are done, so when it's stable again, then I can actually go and say, now I expect the path to have changed from this path to this path. And that's the simple test. So it's that simple actually. Again, quickly, we go and get the location, we need that to kind of do the test later we go and actually get that button that we're looking for, a list of buttons. And then we're getting the first button in that list because we do know that's actually the plus button because of the test we did earlier. We do the click of the button. Look how simple that is. We just click the button. We do a detect changes pretty much saying that when we've clicked the button, something should have happened. And in our case, when, the stable, when we have done recreating the page, when the changes have been detected, then we can actually using this symbol promise, we can say after the changes have been made, then I want to make the test just saying that I expect that I'm now at the add path in my system. And that's the test. So let's just for the fun of it, try and remove add right here and save this. Let's see if we're failing. And there we go, we failed. Because if I go to the test, it says, I expect that we should go to the slash add route, but instead we went to the slash nothing route. It's actually the other way around. We, we went to the add route and we expect to not go to the add route. So that's kind of the problem right here. So let's just undo this and put it back to the add route and there we go now it should run again and that's how soon we can actually start testing routes. Now you can do it with route link, you can do it with clicks of specific routes where you redirect instead inside the actual TypeScript code and we can start changing anything we want but this is how easy it is to start detecting routes inside your system. So that's it for this lesson here. Next time we will try and look into actually working with observables and figuring out how we can test our on list to start testing this part of our code right here. See you next time, have fun.